If you've been wondering how to crop a square or a rectangular photo like this into a circle like this without using Photoshop, then this tutorial is for you. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com, and in this video today, I'm going to show you two different ways to crop a photo into a circle. So the first way that I'm going to dive into is for my Mac users only. I would go ahead and create a tutorial for PC, but I don't own a PC, so it makes that a little impossible. If you don't have a Mac, that's totally okay. Stick with me here because option number two that I'm going to dive into, it can be implemented by anyone, regardless of the type of the computer that you use. You can also use option number two if you have a mobile phone and can download apps on it. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first option is going to be using the native apps that come with Mac computers. Okay, so go ahead and open up the image that you want to crop into a circle. So open it up and Mac should naturally open it up in the preview app. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is show the toolbar that we're going to be needing. So go to view and scroll down to show markup toolbar. So then this toolbar appears here. So the next thing we want to do is click this first option selection tools, click on that and click elliptical selection. Okay. So you can go ahead and click anywhere and it's going to start opening like different size ellipses but you'll notice it's really easy to not get a perfect circle and that is not ideal here so go ahead and hold shift down on the keyboard and that will make it into a perfect circle for you to drag into the size that you'd like so go ahead and drag it and then you can move the circle over whichever part of the image you want to turn into a circle here so go ahead and do that and then you can either click this little crop to selection button here or you can go up into tools in the toolbar menu and click crop. So you might get this notification here to convert this image into a PNG. Okay, so this will pop up if you're using a natural JPEG image. And the reason is, is because JPEGs, you can't have a transparent background on them. The image needs to be a PNG image in order to support the transparency behind the circle. So that like if you're copying and pasting the circle somewhere, you don't have that white box around it. So we're going to go ahead and click convert. And then you'll see that our image is fully cropped into a circle. So then obviously go ahead and save this image so you can save it, give it a new name. Make sure that you are saving it as a PNG option, circle, and save, and bam, now you cropped your image into a circle. The second option to cropping your image into a circle is going to be using a software called Canva, okay? So you can go here, www.canva.com. I will include that link in the description below. So once you've signed up for a free account, you can click this little button up here and for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to use this logo template here you can create a custom size but I do want to make note that it's always a good idea to create your image larger than you need it and you can always scale it down don't start with a small version and then try to scale it bigger because your image will likely become pixelated, okay? So always go bigger than you think that you need and you can always resize. So we're gonna start with this logo option here. And then you're gonna click on the left-hand side, you're gonna click elements and scroll down until you see frames. So you'll note that you can actually crop your image into a whole bunch of different shapes here, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna use the circle. So you can go ahead and drag this to fit the size of the square here, and then head over to uploads. So obviously I already have a whole bunch of images uploaded. If you don't have anything uploaded, drag and drop your image that you wanna crop into this area. 
and then we are just going to drag the image and pop it into the circle here. But you'll notice that I'm a little off center here, so I want to change that. So how I do that is double click, and you can go ahead and increase the size of the image and you can move it over so that it's more centered and cropped the way that you want. And then you can click done and bam, it automatically crops that image into a circle. So now we have to export this image. So go ahead and click this share button in the top right hand corner and then you're gonna to wanna to click download. So there's a few different options here. So you want to make sure that your file type is a PNG and that you're selecting the transparent background option. I know that if you have a free Canva account, you might not be able to check this box to have a transparent background. So what that means is that when you export this image without the transparent background, it's going to export with this white box behind it, okay? So a quick way to get around that would be to sign up for a free trial of Canva Pro, and then you'll be able to download this image as a circle with a transparent background. If you don't want to do that, totally understandable. You might be able to go to Google and find like a free online tool that erases the background of images. It might take a little work, it might be a pain in the butt here, but that is an option for you. So if we can check this box, make sure that it's checked and then just click download. I'm just gonna show you how it looks here because it's gonna look exactly like the other one on option one. So we're gonna click it open and bam, you can see that there is no white square around it. It is transparent. So wherever I put this image, regardless if it's on a white background or if it's on a pattern or anything like that, it's gonna look exactly like the circle. But if we export it either as a JPEG or a PNG without this transparent background clicked, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So you'll see that this one has the white background square behind it. So totally not a big deal if you're gonna be using this square image on something that also has a white background because it's just gonna blend right in. But if you're using it on something that isn't a white background, you're gonna see this white background. So you might have to play around with whatever solution makes the most sense for you if you need it to be transparent, depending on where you're putting it. And then a really quick note is that if you are using a mobile phone, you can absolutely download the Canva app. It's free. And obviously the, the screen is gonna look a little different compared to the desktop version, but it's gonna be a pretty similar process. So you'll be able to use that circle frame and you can click on it and add your photo into it and then you can export it just like you would on a desktop computer. So yeah, I think that that is a really great option if you're using a mobile phone. So that is it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a really quick thumbs up for me. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.